what's happening people welcome back to football therapy with me your host jan i do hope you are all are doing well today i really do hope that welcome back to chelsea news the daily series here on football therapy where i look across football news media and see what's going on with Chelsea and present it to you guys offer my opinion and more importantly ask for yours. As Chelsea look to break football yet again and buy loads of talent to this transfer window because they're financially capable of doing so at the moment Frank Lampard has been pitching a three year plan to both Chelsea Football Club and potential players coming to Chelsea such as Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner. Apparently Chelsea are not done yet, they're looking for one more marquee super signing could that be German superstar Kai Havertz? Maybe. Apparently they are looking at him. Do we need him? Probably not. It would kind of be a luxury statement signing in my opinion, but maybe it could happen. Also, Frank Lampard's number one target for left back remains Ben Chilwell. Lampard wants Ben. Ben wants Lampard. Leicester will sell to Chelsea and they will lower their original asking price of 85 million. But will it be lowered enough for Chelsea Football Club who are also considering Tagliafico as another option. Doesn't stop there, we have more. We also have Pedro going to Roma, which is just a passing nice story, unconfirmed yet, but I think that would be a good move for both parties. And if Bournemouth get relegated, could Nathan Ake come back to Chelsea for a good price? Maybe. Lots to get into, obviously, so a quick reminder to you guys to subscribe to this channel, Football Therapy, if you've not yet done so. Hey, only if you want to, mate. But if you do, please do hit that bell notifications icon, and why not like this video to help a brother out? All right, let's get into it. Right, loads and loads to get through, loads of juicy stories as well, but let's get some of the housekeeping out of the way. Pedro to Roma, that's a nice story. Obviously, the Spaniards out of contract at Chelsea. Roma are looking to be favourites to sign him on a free. That would be a nice story. I think I think he could do well out there, the kind of right profile of club I guess, go hang out in Rome for a little bit. In the autumn years of his career, Pedro has been a superb servant for Chelsea Football Club. It does look like both he and Willian are on the way out. Of course, Werner and Ziyech can play on the wings. They have Pulisic, they have hudson Adoy at the club. Chelsea are pretty strong. They might even get another attacking forward who can play on the wing. Who knows? So thank you, Pedro. If you do go to Roma, have a lovely time. Right, Chelsea have been linked with another centre-back, but it's been more of a world-class dominating centre-back to really help out the youngsters, the sort of middle, upper-tier centre-halves that Chelsea currently have on their roster. Not necessarily Nathan Ake. Poor Nathan Ake was in the Chelsea sent out. He's been going to and from Bournemouth, being pulled back, sent away, sold, loaned, all sorts of stuff like that. So he probably wouldn't be overly interested in coming back to Chelsea again, unless of course maybe Bournemouth were relegated. And if Bournemouth are relegated, they could probably do with the finances of selling their best player, Nathan Ake. This is an interesting story. Does it strengthen Chelsea? Maybe. Remember Nathan Ake is a versatile defender and a good defender too. Loads of Premier League experience, can play in a back three, a back two, and he can even play as a left back, hell, even a left wing back at times. So he's another one of those versatile utility players that Frank Lampard likes. If they do want an extra centre half, maybe. To me, it's not really the kind of profile of centre back Chelsea are looking for, but maybe it makes sense. And if it's really cheap, if Bournemouth get relegated, Fair enough, but it's not this like Kula Bali type figure that would be the final piece in Chelsea's quest to break football. But we'll see what happens, and I'll of course keep you guys updated here on Football Therapy. Right then, before we talk about Kai Havertz and more statement signings, another marquee signing, let's talk about this Ben Chilwell situation. I've spoken many times before on Football Therapy how Ben Chilwell is indeed Frank Lampard's priority left back target. I speculated for a long time, like many of you, why would Ben Chilwell want to come to Chelsea when Leicester are above them? They're doing so, so well and they've got a great coach. But then again, if there's an exciting project at Chelsea, Chelsea are a massive club, fair enough. Why wouldn't he want to come if you look at it that way? Also, if you watched my video earlier that I published this morning on Timo Werner, I talk about Frank Lampard's charm ability. If he's done that to Ben Chilwell, that's probably why Ben Chilwell wants to come to Chelsea. So the player wants it, Frank Lampard wants it, and Leicester are reportedly willing to sell to Chelsea, but you know what they're like when they sell their defenders that they don't have to sell? They charge a lot of money. Just look at Harry Maguire to Manchester United for 85 million. Originally, the price for Chilwell to Chelsea was also reported as 
85 million. Obviously way too much, especially in a pandemic leveled financial climate. Now, that doesn't stop Frank Lampard from wanting Chili B. The name's gonna stick, guys, I'm sorry. And because the player wants the transfer, Leicester have been willing to lower than price in negotiations. A reported price of £60 million is now surfaced, so there's already £25 million left than the reported touted price in the media. Still too much for Chelsea Football Club, I think they were more interested in a figure around £40 million, maybe rising to 50 so it might be too much. But Chelsea are also interested in Tagliafico, who would at the moment be about a third of the price of Ben Chilwell, and he is indeed considered Chelsea's second option. Now, Tagliafico is older than Ben Chilwell, and it wouldn't be so much a long-term plan or joining the long-term project, but check out this graphic from Squawker comparing the stats of both players. The thing you'll notice the most is Tagliafico has better defensive metrics and Ben Chilwell has better offensive metrics. When it comes to take-ons and crosses, you want Ben Chilwell, but defensive actions, Tagliafico wins. So you can kind of see in the shape of player profile why Frank Lampard might want the style of Chili B over Tagliafico, but you can also understand Tagliafico is a very good defender and for that price he could absolutely upgrade Chelsea Football Club massively. So negotiations go on for the left back Ben Chilwell while Nicola Tagliafico waits in the wings, but we'll have to see what happens. I'll of course keep you guys updated on this story. Keep swinging by football therapy. Right, the third marquee signing, is that considered to be Ben Chilwell or indeed is it another attacker? Loads of journalists, good journalists, reputable journalists have said Chelsea might not be done with forwards, which kind of blows my mind. With strikers, they're set. In fact, they need to get rid of Batshuayi, probably because they've got Werner, Abraham, Giroud, Batshuayi, and Brozier, who's probably going to be in the first team squad, or maybe he'll be loaned out now there's so many forwards. On the wings, again, you can have Werner, uh, Ziyech, Hudson-Odoi, Pulisic, Mount's been deployed on the wing before, and they've got loads of central midfielders, Chelsea. So, do they need another attacking midfielder slash forward? Probably not. But that has not stopped the story of Chelsea being incredibly interested in the potential signing of Kai Havertz. If there's something in this, and there might be, Fabrizio Romano, loads of other journos are saying Chelsea are very interested in monitoring it. He, of course, has got less than two years left on his deal. The same situation as Jadon Sancho probably would be cheaper than Jadon Sancho. He's a very, very good player. Again, to sort of sound like a broken record, he matches the versatile player for Frank Lampard. He likes to change his tactics, shapes, formations, plans. You need players who are happy moving. Kai Havertz is massively that player. Jaden Sancho is excellent, but he's a winger. Kai Havertz is a wide forward, inside forward, attacking midfielder, second striker, false nine. Kai Havertz is one of the most versatile forwards in world football and he's 20 years old man and he can bang a goal. So you would understand why Frank Lampard would want this type of player. Again it's just who <laughs> Chelsea need a massive clear out if they want to really accommodate all these people in the Lampard revolution. Honestly I'm stoked with how things are for Chelsea at the moment but do I, I personally I don't think Chelsea need Kai Havertz, they need a left back, maybe a superstar centre half, but if they get him, of course I'm going to be gassed, it's like football manager hype mode, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just really exciting, it's like a Galactico rebuild of Chelsea Football Club, so of course I would love to see Kai Havertz at Chelsea, if he had joined for me, that's the end of Jadon Sancho, I think. We'll have to see, man. Anyway, I'm of course going to keep you guys updated on everything that's happening in the news at the moment, man. And it's moving a thousand miles an hour. It's hard for me to keep up, but I'm on the train, man. I'm on the hype train. I'm driving it. Hopefully, you're all aboard. If you've enjoyed this content I provided for you guys today, it'd mean a lot if you drop a like on the video. And why not subscribe to Football Therapy? If you're new to the channel, man, you are also, of course, welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, everyone. You guys enjoy the football that is happening soon, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. 
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby